doubt that we're going to see an inflationary cycle. Most economic analysts believe that it will have a temporary or transitory impact. The faster than expected increase in some of those prices is actually a good sign. The overwhelming consensus is going to pop up a little bit and then go back down. No one's talking about this great, great deal. This is something that will uh, settle down. Transitory. <laughs> Transitory. And the data shows that most of the price increases we've seen are were expected and are expected to be temporary. There's nobody suggesting there's unchecked inflation on the way. It's un highly unlikely that it's going to be long-term inflation that's going to get out of hand. I don't know anybody who's worried about inflation. Over the last couple of months, uh, we actually saw it trended downward. President Biden's chief of staff, Ron Klain, enthusiastically retweeted an economist who had said in part most of the economic problems we're facing, inflation, supply chains, etc., are high class problems. What is the grand home plan to increase oil production in America? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> that is hilarious. Well, the number one thing that the president can do is help get COVID under control. Uh, that, we know, is the root cause of inflation. President Biden this afternoon saying he thinks we're at the peak of the crisis right now and that lower prices are on the way. The inflation has everything to do with the supply chain. Make no mistake, inflation is largely the fault of Putin. I'm going to do everything I can to minimize Putin's price hike here at home. If you want to get rid of inflation, the only way to do it is to um, re undo a lot of the Trump tax cuts. I think ever since you've come into office, things are really looking up. You know, gas is up, rent is up, food is up, everything. 